Hi, uh, is this the grief counseling office? I recognize you. You're Frank Conniff. Uh, you used to work at Air America Radio. Oh, yeah, that was a gigantic failure in my life. Thanks for bringing it up. Have a seat. There are some tissues right there if you need them. Is that enough? I'm, I'm going to cry and I'm probably going to masturbate as well. So I'm going to need a lot of tissues. Just make yourself at home. Uh, you know, to make me feel more at home, is it okay if I uh, not wear any pants? Uh, I don't... <laughs> I could tell it makes you uncomfortable, so. Maybe just kind of halfway down. Oh, okay. Okay, that's great. So, um, what grieves you, Frank? I have this perception, and I think it's all psychological, um, that when I go out into the world, that people don't like me. And, um, and I think that part of it comes from the fact that everyone I meet says, I don't like you, please go away. Uh, I'm sorry, were you saying something? I got distracted by this crossword puzzle. <laughs> Do you know a five-letter word for dull? Oh, I'm nev- I've never been uh, good at crossword. They remind me of the labyrinth of my mind. You know what? Let me just put this down. Um, I have a smarter patient coming in later anyway, so... I'm... Okay. Uh, let's say, uh, where were we? Obviously, whatever you were saying was very painful, and I suggest that you walk it off. I don't want to be completely negative, but I just have to say that the last uh, 53 years have been kind of a rough patch for me. Mm. So what you're saying is you've been dealt a bad hand. Well, I want... It hasn't worked out. Uh, well, the I grass would... is The grass is greener on the other side. I don't want to... When God was passing out luck, you thought he said something that sounded like luck, and that was something that you didn't need, so you said no thanks. Um... You know what I'm going to prescribe to you right now? A Red Bull. Mmm. It's delicious. Makes you cool with the ladies. Um. All right. Well, uh, let's stop beating around the bush. You've got to just pick yourself up off the ground and dust yourself off. Do I have to, really? No. Because when I'm on the ground covered with dust, it's, it's one of my better moments in life. If it makes you happy. Well, the idea that I suddenly have to get up off the ground and dust myself off and start all over again, uh, it, you know, it just, makes me, it just makes me more depressed. You know, I was so happy on the ground, covered in dust. It just feels like home there. Hmm? Um, oh, goodness, look at the time. What has it been, about three or four hours? Well, it always seemed, when people talk to me, they mention yeah. that it always seems oh, like, hour, like hours have gone <laughs> by. You have about 20 minutes left. Mm-hmm. But I can, can rather I, not. I think you don't. I think you're good. Is it okay if I, uh, for my remaining 20 minutes, and and you know I'll pay you for this. It's it's on the clock. If I just go into your bathroom and and softly cry and masturbate. What, whatever it takes, Frank. Um, just turn the lights out uh, when you're done. Okay. Well, I was going to turn them out while I was in the process, actually. Great. I, all, all the better. I don't want to see anything. Uh, right down to the left, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Just give me your, you can give me your grief.